Hello everyone, welcome back to Placement Buddies. Uh, today, in order to discuss about the offshore Pawai office of LNT, we have Avinav with us. Hello Avinav, welcome to Placement Buddies. Uh, hello Sare, hello for inviting me. Yeah, Avinav, tell our audience about our audience. Mm, so hello guys, uh, I joined in as a GET in the 2022 batch after passing out from University of Mumbai. And then I joined the offshore department wherein I took care of the project management team. राइट right. uh, तो अविनव ऑफशोर पवाई ऑफिस में एल एन टी के uh, जो हाइड्रोकार्बन यूनिट में वो बिलोंग करता है तो पवाई ऑफिस में कौन कौन से डिपार्टमेंट है वट ऑल डिपार्टमेंट आर देयर एंड इफ यू कैन टच अपन दी बेसिक फंक्शनैलिटीज ऑफ अ जी टी इन ऑल द डिपार्टमेंट सो वेन यू टॉक ऑफ द पवाई ऑफिस दैट इज योर एम एंड टावर सो इट इज योर हेड ऑफिस सो वेन यू टॉक ऑफ बींग इन एम एंड टावर यू हैव वेरियस फील्ड लाइक यू कूड बी इन्वॉल्व इन टू योर प्रपोजल एंड एस्टिमेशन टीम wherein this team looks after the proposal of wherein you don't have a project but to get it proposal and estimation is involved then you have your quality assurance team wherein they look after the quality aspects of the project you also have your scm team that is your supply manage supply chain management team which will look after the deliverables are getting delivered on time which slowly you will understand after you get into the roles then also you have the project management team so for which i am involved when you talk of the project management team it is somebody who is the whole and soul responsible person for getting the project done like you are involved right from the proposal stage and you will also get in touch with the quality guys the scm guys to get your deliverables on time and also in the closure when everybody is out of the thing it is like it is your baby to be getting the project delivered so this is what the project management team and also we have a really strong base of engineers that is our engineering team which also sits in the pawai office so you almost have a whole and soul thing happening in am and tower right so in every project the engineering team uh, like do function from the pawai office itself or kuch projects ke liye hum log outsource bhi karte hain mm, so it depends like currently we have a project wherein we have certain oems that is the original equipment manufacturers so if the vendor wants us to be working with them like there's a big package so you will be outsourcing it it definitely happens depends on the need basis but yahan pe kya hoga ki you will have the engineering team of the other party but aap khali coordinate karoge wahan pe right. but most of the cases jahan pe aapke typical se projects aayenge wahan pe you will use your engineering team which you have if there's a not if there's no requirement from the client side ki bhai aapko inhi se kara correct to jaise avinav hamare jo hydrocarbon ka unit hai wo basically ek epc sector mana jata hai usko right ऑफशोर बताओ या ऑनशोर बताओ तो ईपीसी स्टैंड फॉर इंजीनियरिंग प्रोक्योरमेंट एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन और जो भी ये जो तीनों फेजेस है वो एक प्रोजेक्ट को रिप्रेजेंट करता है और हाइड्रोकार्बन एक ऐसी आईसी है इवन ऑफशोर एक ऐसा यूनिट है ऑफशोर या ऑनशोर ही बताओ जो ज्यादा प्रोजेक्ट स्पेसिफिक है रेदर देन यू नो प्रोडक्ट स्पेसिफिक अनलाइक द मैन्युफेक्चरिंग सेक्टर तो जैसे अभी जीईटी मस्ट बी एंथुजियास्टिक अबाउट नोइंग की अभी एल ऑफशोर यूनिट में कौन कौन से प्रोजेक्ट चल रहे हैं सो इफ यू कैन टच अप ऑन दी ऑन गोइंग प्रोजेक्ट राइट नाउ लाइक सर आपने बहुत करेक्टली बताया कि वी शुड हैव इट वेरी क्लियर दैट वी आर अ बिग कॉन्ट्रैक्टर राइट ये चीज हमें हमेशा ध्यान रखनी चाहिए वाई यू आर ज्वाइनिंग लाइक वी आर नॉट अ ओ एम जो कि हम स्पेसिफिक कोई प्रोडक्ट बना के दें वी आर द पीपल हुल गेट दी जॉब डन मे बी यूजिंग सम पीपल हु हैव दी स्पेशल स्पेशलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग द प्रोडक्ट डिलीवर्ड सो अब हम जब प्रोजेक्ट्स की बात करते हैं वी आर अ मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी सो डेफिनेटली बींग अ मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी हमारे पास बाहर भी प्रोस्पेक्ट्स हैं बट our bread earners who initially apne sath rahe hain those are the ongc projects wherein we have a very strong base it is not only ongc but outside of india like we have a very good base in saudi aramco right those are a very good players in the middle east and in the current in the past one year we have also explored the markets of qatar so qatar when you talk of oil and gas is a really big player so we are slowly venturing into that field also so when you get into hydrocarbon aapke paas ek bahut hi acha exposure aata hai in terms of the marketplace which we have currently as as well as in terms of the geographical locations because you do get domestic as well as international exposure right and that too even in your gdt period it's not like you'll have to wait for years hmm. the situation is such that you can actually move into international projects getting involved in those geographical locations within your gdt period itself so that's a good thing which rnt offers you when you have the freedom to be moving correct correct 
and of enough talking about the GET period. So initially when a GET enters into a company, uh, for example, LNT in this case, uh, there is a lot of difference between the academic learning and the industrial exposure which is going on right now. So what a GET should uh, like expect, what is going to happen with him or her in the initial days? Like what should be the roles and responsibilities of that particular GET? Mm, okay, so this is a really good thing which you get to know after you get into the corporate because once you come out of college you are certainly a guy who was a senior in his college heading everything yeah. was doing stuff as to what is happening in the institute but once you get into corporate you need to take a stand or basically stop there and think ki there are people around who have been working for their lives right so this is an altogether new field for you but does that mean you should be bogged down that is not the thing you should be having your core strong, but also have a vision wherein you are open to things. Realize as to what is happening around you and be able to absorb more or more like a sponge. And then slowly you will adapt to things and you will learn. So adaptability is the thing which you have to have while you get into corporate as a GED. And that is what they expect out of you. They don't want you to be knowing everything from day one. Correct. And when you enter into the office, is there any dress code uh, for employees? Mm, you need to be following your formal dress codes, which are mostly followed in companies. Hmm. Uh, in Powai office, we have a culture wherein on the last day of the week, we switch to smart formals. Okay. And that depends on you, how you want to do it. So you have formals on the weekdays, on the last day of the week, you have smart formals. Right. So it's kind of similar, to the, similar to the Vadodara office. Like the last working day, you have to wear casuals, uh, like uh, business casuals. And the remaining for, uh, like weekdays, you have to wear the business formals, right? Right. And talking about the canteen facilities, is it uh, like a paid food facility or it is free on the basis of a card or something? Mm, so canteen facility or rather we should say the basic necessities are really taken good care of by r &T. Okay. So we have a really good canteen wherein you have variety of uh, different cuisines daily for you to be having. So food is not an issue. Like for me, I wouldn't have bought any day my lunch box okay. to office. And the money, uh, a very nominal amount gets deducted from your salary. So that is not an issue. Right. And then uh, talking about the accommodation, uh, was there uh, accommodation pro provided to the GETs in the initial days? Mm, so yeah, this uh, this is a really good, good question which you asked because coming at a salary and that too in Mumbai, it becomes really difficult to be actually getting acclimatized to the new company and also finding out places to rent out. So LNT does a really good thing that for the initial 11 months, it gives you a place to stay wherein you have a hostel which is safeguarded with the security. So there is no concern about even girls that they won't feel insecure to be there. So that is taken really good care for the first 11 months. And then once you settle down, you find your ways to stay. Okay. So food and shelter is taken care of by LNT. So the only thing which you need to care is your work. Correct. So after 11 months, uh, do they continue to provide the accommodation or it is terminated like after 11 months? Mm, it gets terminated because the quanta of people which is coming, yeah. uh, it has become really difficult for them to accommodate. Understandable. Correct. True. Okay. And let us let us talk about the working hours then. When do you have to punch in and then punch out? Mm, punch in timings are 8.25 and then you punch out by 5.10. That is what your normal working hours are here. And I believe at 510, sharp at 510 buses will be there, uh, you know, to take you back to uh, the hostel at Mulund, right? Uh, the buses leave at around 530 because uh, when you talk of AM and Tower, uh, the bus stop is a bit far away. Okay. So you can punch out by 510, walk around for 5, 10, 15, 10 minutes and then you have your buses by 530 leaving. So they are on time. Right. And mostly I have seen people in the Mumbai office, they do not, uh, you know, overtime. They are very much uh, punctual about uh, their uh, in timings and out timings, right? Is it so? In most of the cases, uh, till the time there is a certain client requirement which needs to be Correct. urgently met, else you, in 95% of the cases, you can punch out on time. True. And uh, how is the work-life balance over there? Like, uh, is it uh, like, are people too loaded with uh, projects and, you know, targets and deliverables all the time? Or is it relaxed, the atmosphere, basically? Mm, like how you said, Saleh, we are into the project business. So we need to be a bit mature. Uh, it is all dependent on the stage of your project. If it is in the initial stage, no, there is not much of monitoring. But when you are in a stage wherein you need to deliver, you yourself would wait back. Mm. Else, it all depends on your project stage. If not, if you're not loaded, then nobody would stop you. That's for sure. Correct. Maybe when the construction phase 
is at peak maybe or you know the procurement is getting delayed or when there is a lot of management involvement or you know client is asking for deliverables on a continuous basis you might yeah as simple as that when you are lagging behind in some deliverables that is the time when you need to be support correct correct ओके अभिनव तो जैसे हमने वर्किंग आवर्स के बारे में बात किया या फिर यू नो वर्कलोड के बारे में बात किया कोई ऐसे इंस्टेंस है क्या जहाँ पे एम्प्लॉज ऑफ वर्किंग वीकेंड्स पे या ऐसा नहीं है नहीं वीकेंड्स आर ऑफ सो उस टाइम आप रिलैक्स कर सकते राइट सो मंडे टू फ्राइडे प्रॉपर वर्किंग अपने वर्किंग आवर्स पे सैटरडे संडेज आर ऑफ राइट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन योर लोकेशन लाइक इन पवई यू हैव योर सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ सैटरडेज ऑफ Okay. So, Avinav, before we wrap it up, any uh, you know final advice which you would like to give to our GTs who are going to join Pavai office right now? अपने जर्नी से कोई भी तुमने मिस्टेक्स करा हो या फिर जैसे तुमने लास्ट तुम्हारा जितना भी स्टे रहा है एलएनटी में उसको कैसे तुमने अप्रोच किया? Because तुम भी you also joined as a GT and you know everything was new for you. So, if you would like to share the experience. Ah, uh, firstly, congratulations, जितने लोग सिलेक्ट हुए हो. डेफिनेटली आपने काफी मेहनत की है टेस्ट को क्लियर करने में एग्जाम्स को क्लियर करने में आप यहाँ पे आ रहे हो सो यू कैन बी एश्योर्ड कि आपने एक अच्छा डिसीजन लिया है बट डिपेंड करता है कि अब आप यहाँ पे घुसने के बाद व्हाट इज योर नेक्स्ट स्टेज बिकॉज एवरीबडी हु इज गेटिंग इन हैज क्लियर दैट एग्जाम नाउ इट इज अ लेवल जीरो फॉर यू टू बी स्टार्टिंग इन बिल्डिंग अप योर प्रोफेशनल करियर एक कॉलेज का टाइम लिया नाउ इट इज टाइम फॉर यू टू बी बिल्डिंग अप योर करियर सो यहाँ पे कुछ चीजें आपको ध्यान देनी चाहिए सबसे पहली बात एज ए साइड कि यू हैव दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू बी टेकिंग ऑफ वर्क सो वंस यू गेट इन आप स्लोली जाओ बट वट एवर वर्क विच यू आर गिवन टेक दी अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबली करो उसे बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट ओनली गोइंग टू बेनिफिट दी कंपनी बट ऑल्सो यू गेट टू नो एज टू वट इज योर कैपेबिलिटी टू बी गेटिंग अप विद दी कंपनी एंड ऑल्सो दी मार्केट स्टैंडर्ड सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट एवर थिंग्स कम टू योर वे इफ यू आर अ केमिकल इंजीनियर आप खाली रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ना रहे कि ये मेरा डिसिप्लिन है मैं इसके आगे नहीं जाना चाहूंगा बिकॉज वंस यू गेट इन टू अ प्रोजेक्ट इट समेर हेल्प यू एक्स वाई जी थिंग विच यू नेवर थॉट दैट वुड बी इन लाइन विथ योर प्रोफेशन और बेसिकली योर डिसिप्लिन आपको हेल्प करेगी सो इट्स बेटर टू बी एब्सॉर्बिंग द वर्ड विच आर यूज एब्सॉर्ब यू शूड एब्सॉर्ब नॉलेज ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर है एक आपका ये जो टाइम है यू शुड मेक नोट ऑफ वॉट योर टारगेट्स आर वंस यू आर गेटिंग इन टू दी कंपनी यू शुड हैव योर पर्सनल गोल्स टू that what exactly what i think what are the things which i want because company focuses on your learning and development but the whole and sole responsibility also lies on you because this is your life correct so it is really important for you to be having your priorities set and making that effort if at all they are not met by the other parties making it as your effort to be getting it done correct and lastly i would say load lene ki zarurat nahi hai This is one year which is like a no ball given to use of free hit hai. Correct. It's just that you show it your pure intent. Because the log around hai, this is the first perception which they have about you. And also, ye aapki pehli company hai, so you have the opportunity to do mistakes. Aapko koi kabi aisa nahi hoga ki ye galti kaise kar di. This is a company which gives you the opportunity to make mistakes and learn from them. So do maximum of mistakes. Even if you think ki ye chhi shayad main na kar paun. You should give it a try because this is the time where you you can fiddle around. Very true, very true. It was my pleasure hosting you, Avinav, and uh, thank you so much again for joining Place One Buddies. Mm, thank you, Sale, for calling. And I would also like to give a shout out to Sale because the time when I joined in as a GT, I was really confused as to what LNT is because there are very few channels which actually talk about exactly what because LNT is a very big company. If I belong to a certain discipline. You don't find material as to what this company is doing, and this was a really good initiative which Salay took. He took out time and also made us aware as to what things actually are in the company. Correct. My my pleasure. It was. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Salay.